Yes, yeah, so you've seen the last two to three years specifically, you've seen uh, four major companies uh, come in pretty heavy into investing heavily into the U.S. Uh, and can Canadian markets, that being Monsanto, Rush Bread, uh, Bear is making a big move, KWS is making a big move, Lehman Grant is making a big move. Um, and of course, there's already pioneers already in the, in the wheat business and the soft red and white and soft white business. So you're going to see a lot more private investment. So that's kind of a chain reaction over time. So if you go back again on corn and soybean business, and say back in the 1970s, where majority of the soybeans going to the marketplace were from uh, public universities, and by the late 80s, early 90s, maybe 10 percent of the or less of the product was coming from public public universities. And now, you know, except for some non-GMO food grade stuff, it's, you know, none of it's really coming from public universities. So. Now, so you jump maybe 15 years ahead in the wheat business. How much, you know, in the West right now, there's quite a bit of a public germplasm out there. A variety released from Kansas State, from Oklahoma uh, State, and from uh, Nebraska and Texas A&M. So, you know, how relevant will they be going forward on variety variety releases? 15 years out, now you have all this private investment. I think you'll see all the, the private investment will really do, start dominating the variety of releases as well. Like it is in every other? Like it is in every other crop over time. Right.